What do you think about the dominance of the Model Y Juniper in the upcoming year? We imagine that if the Model 3 Highland brought in $5 billion in revenue, the Model Y is likely to double or even triple that amount. Although the Juniper project is set to launch around fourth quarter 2024, with the current versions, the global electric car market still hasn't found a king to replace this SUV. The Model Y continues to hold the position of the best-selling car in Europe in 2023, as it consistently maintains the top position. So, how will the Juniper project change the game? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Previously, many articles and comments on social media platforms were quite humorous, suggesting that Tesla customers shouldn't expect a major overhaul. In our opinion, the Juniper project may not be substantial enough to turn this SUV into a unique electric vehicle like the Cybertruck. But it is enough to make the Model Y the focal point or trend in the electric vehicle purchases of 2024. Why will the Model Y Juniper create a seismic shift in 2024? Expected to be launched quite late around October 2024 when the Model 3 Highland has seen significant deliveries, this is when we welcome a game changer named the Model Y Juniper. New projects often lead to a significant price increase for products compared to older versions. But this doesn't seem to be the case with the Model Y Juniper. This version is expected to start at around 40 grand, which doesn't create a significant price gap compared to its predecessor. We can see this from the recently delivered Model 3 Highland, with a base price of only $35,507 in China, while before the upgrade, it was priced at $31,685, a 12% increase. However, the Chinese market doesn't benefit from discounts such as the $7,500 federal tax credit. So once the Juniper project is delivered in the United States, the pricing will be very attractive. Some speculation suggests that the Model Y Juniper will receive an update with a 4680 battery pack, which could increase the appeal of the Model Y to customers. Tesla recently set a record by producing 20 million 4680 cells at their Texas factory. And this number could increase to 80 million when Tesla carries out the Juniper project in October next year. The current timing may be more suitable for the Cybertruck, but Tesla is entirely capable of adding the 4680 battery to the Model Y in all its versions because the manufacturer will have a large quantity available by that time, and the Model Y's battery pack is certainly smaller than the Cybertruck's. Many customers planning to buy the Model Y are willing to overlook the current appeal and wait for the Juniper version because this project involves more significant upgrades in both the interior and exterior similar to the Model 3 Highland. This has created a widespread sense of anticipation for this vehicle, and it's expected to achieve significant sales figures upon its release. How is the Model Y RWD discussed with the latest US delivery leaks? Among all the versions of the Model Y, the base model has always received less attention and generated the least buzz. However, after being manufactured at Fremont and delivered in the United States recently, it's been discovered and sparked some discussions. Specifically on the X platform, the Brandon Tesla account revealed some information related to the differences in the base Model Y. After observation, he listed and provided comments on this version. Firstly, the Model Y RWD will not have fog lights, which has raised some concerns among many. According to Brandon, the fog light system is set up but not displayed in the software for use. Therefore, we believe it seems to be only operational for the long range and performance versions. Additionally, the parcel shelf was also mentioned by Brandon Tesla as not existing in this base model but you can still purchase it from the Tesla store for just $85. What has sparked the most discussion about this version is the battery pack it's equipped with. Brandon expressed doubts about the Model Y's RWD's battery when he mentioned that this car has a limited daily trip charging option of 80%, and he compared it to the base Model 3 displayed on the screen. This raises the hypothesis that the Model Y RWD is equipped with an NCA battery pack instead of an LFP one. 
Brandon also checked the battery pack information in the software under the high voltage battery type section, but it wasn't displayed either. There are two possible scenarios regarding the battery pack of this version. Either the software hadn't been updated to disable the charging limit, or it's not actually a lithium ion battery. However, we still need to wait for information and confirmation from either Elon Musk or Tesla. Furthermore, some interesting features like premium sound and a cat meme were added. Brandon also shared that the Model Y RWD is a very solid car for its price. And the quality from Fremont is excellent. Even with a 0 to 60 mile an hour time of 6.6 .6 seconds, the Model Y RWD is an impressive vehicle for most people who don't prioritize acceleration performance. How will Model Y prices fluctuate by the end of 2023? Since the beginning of this year, Tesla has frequently implemented significant price reductions, often amounting to several thousand dollars indicating a new trend. The car manufacturer has stated that it closely monitors order volumes and aligns them with its production capacity. When discrepancies occur, they primarily resort to price reductions to bridge the gap. Elon Musk has attributed most of these price adjustments to concerns about interest rates, which have made monthly payments for car loans more challenging. This in turn has led to multiple price reductions starting in 2022. Recently, as we are nearing the end of the year, the price of the Model Y has been increased to $48,990 for the long-range version, which means an increase of $500 or a 1% increase. Prior to this price increase, Tesla has reduced the prices of Model 3 and Model Y in the U.S. by a few percentage points earlier this month. Specifically, the Model Y LRAWD received a $2,000 reduction, with a recent $500 increase. We can observe that this model is still considerably cheaper than its September selling price. Not only in the North American market, but Tesla has also slightly increased the price of the Tesla Model Y performance in China by about $1,900 or 4%, bringing it to $49,757. The prices of the other two versions remain the same as of October 1st. However, the Model Y in China has received some minor upgrades compared to the North American version. Although this increase isn't significant, we still recognize some anomalies with this move. So, what is the reason for Tesla's price increase? We all know that the Model Y is produced in multiple factories such as Texas, Shanghai, Berlin, and Fremont, with each factory serving a specific large market. These factories are constantly upgrading machinery, production lines, and personnel to keep up with future production schedules. For example, they are transitioning from a 6,000-ton gigapress to a 9,000-ton and preparing for a 16,000-ton press. These upgrades come with a significant cost, and the $500 increase, although not substantial, will help to offset some of the expenses associated with these new manufacturing improvements. Importantly, we also know that Tesla needs to produce and sell many Model Y units before they embark on the Juniper renovation project in 2024. The next reason for the price increase is partially due to the growing demand from Tesla customers, resulting in their order backlog becoming much longer than the company's current production rate. This can be observed through quarterly sales figures with first quarter sales of 267,200 units, a 69% increase compared to 2022. By around July, the number of Model Ys sold reached approximately 427,524 units. Even more impressively, from its launch until around September this year, the total number sold is 2.16 million units. The high demand for the Model Y is not surprising, given that it combines four attractive elements of affordability, features, design, and technology in an SUV. It's no wonder that it's Tesla's best-selling product in various global markets and continents. Additionally, the cost increase is due to fluctuations in raw material, transportation, and production costs that are on the rise globally, forcing manufacturers to adjust their prices to offset expenses. Even the upcoming Cybertruck, set to be launched later this month, might be influenced by inflation, as rumored. We can still believe that when raw material prices decrease, the company will likely roll out price reductions again. 
At the end of 2023, there will undoubtedly be many exciting events to look forward to, such as the Cybertruck delivery event and the large-scale delivery of the Model 3 Highland. We can also anticipate year-end price reductions for some models because from the beginning of the year till now, Tesla has applied numerous consecutive price reductions. This has allowed the company to increase sales, but at the same time, it's significantly impacted profit margins. The company is still profitable, but the potential for price reductions in the future will be slightly lower than before. A $500 increase cannot diminish the appeal of this SUV in the market. We'll surely witness the sales figures after fourth quarter ends. Recently, the customer preference for the Model Y in the market can be seen through the fact that it's become the best-selling car in Europe in September. With this achievement, Model Ys won this title six times in 2023 alone. How does Model Y assert its position in the 2023 electric vehicle market? The Tesla Model Y has been a bestseller in any country where this SUV is present. The success of the Model Y goes beyond the boundaries of the 50 states in the United States, as new data from PwC shows that all electric crossover sales lead in the top four European countries, along with China and, of course, the US. Furthermore, it has broken records in Denmark for the highest number of sales in a year. As of October 25th this year, a total of 12,944 Model Y units have been registered in Denmark this year, surpassing the previous record of 12,940 units. Despite there being more than two months until the end of this year, the Model Y has already become the best-selling car in Europe, as well as in the past month of September. The Model Y's performance in the top four European countries, including Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, shows that from January to September this year, the car has been sold 78,014 times, far surpassing the second-place Fiat 500e with 38,746 units sold. Giga Berlin has been operating at high capacity throughout the year so far and has achieved an outstanding result with a Model Y being the most popular electric car in the region for six out of the first nine months of the year. According to Automotive News Europe, the Model Y is the most preferred car in Europe and ranks first in the list of the top 50 best-selling passenger cars. Looking at the list of the 50 best-selling passenger cars in Europe in the first nine months of 2023, the Tesla Model Y sits at the top position with 180,721 units sold, a 125% increase compared to the same period last year. In the Chinese market, the Model Y maintains its dominance ahead of BYD's Dolphin and Yuan Plus, with Tesla achieving 320,109 units sold from January to September, representing the first three quarters of 2023. At the time of making this video, Tesla has secured three out of the top 10 positions for electric cars in the United States, including the first position for the Model Y, the second position for the Model 3, and the seventh position for the Model X. Specifically, Model Ys accumulated 296,059 units sold, while Model 3s got 166,42 units sold, and Model X with 18,174 units sold. It's no secret that Tesla is extremely confident in the global success that the Model Y will achieve. We recall that Elon Musk once said that the Model Y would be the world's best-selling car, a statement that received criticism and skepticism at the time for appearing to be an exaggeration. However, as we've just entered 2023, this SUV has already achieved the title of the best-selling car in the first quarter of 2023, surpassing Toyota's RAV4 and Corolla in global sales for the first three months of the year. The Tesla Model Y is the world's best-selling car in the first quarter with 267,200 units sold, while in Europe, it's held this title throughout the first half of the year. From an external perspective, the American electric vehicle is on track to become the most popular car in Europe by the end of 2023, and with the Juniper project for 2024, it may well become even more explosive. Model Y Juniper is undoubtedly one of the most highly anticipated projects for 2024. And this is not surprising considering the significant success of Model 3 Highland. Despite the 1% increase in the price of the Model Y, it hasn't dampened the enthusiasm of car enthusiasts worldwide. Tesla has a track record of pushing forward with significant advancements in the EV industry, and the launch of the Model Y Juniper serves a clear purpose. First and foremost, 
Tesla's continued leadership in European, Chinese, and even U.S. markets is a testament to the excellence of this SUV in various aspects. The combination of performance, range, and modern design in Model Y Juniper creates substantial expectations. The competitive ability and efficient operation of this electric car showcases Tesla's pioneering role in the automotive industry. In the future, Model Y Juniper has the potential to transform the way we move and contribute to shaping a sustainable future for the electric vehicle industry. This is undoubtedly one of the reasons why Model Y Juniper is highly anticipated in 2024. Model Y Juniper is expected to bring improvements in terms of interior and exterior design and performance. Tesla typically introduces technological advancements with each new model. So, what do you expect from the Model Y Juniper 2024? First up in today's episode, we'll come to the new discoveries about Cybertruck appearing with rare features on the streets. When the upcoming release date may bring a slight price increase compared to the initial plan due to factors affecting production costs. However, what if you could own a Cybertruck variant for under $39,000? We believe that's an option not to be excluded as it aligns with Tesla's product pricing strategy aimed at making electric vehicles accessible to all. In a surprising turn, we've discovered recent diagrams of the Cybertruck's drivetrain that have added complexity to Tesla's initial plans. The base Cybertruck appears to have a single front-mounted motor, indicating the possibility of a front-wheel drive FWD variant. Front-wheel drive systems are commonly found in passenger cars and are not typically the first choice for trucks designed for heavy-duty tasks like towing and off-roading. Weight distribution in a pickup truck is crucial for such tasks, and a front-wheel drive system might impact the utility of the Cybertruck. However, the Cybertruck may implement a similar technology as the Semi to disengage the motor. Gears and drive shafts to the rear will serve specific functions to enhance towing efficiency and disconnect when driving on stable roads. Furthermore, a front-wheel drive system offers better efficiency in cold, snowy climates, providing a more authentic driving experience, even for beginners in snowy terrains. Front-wheel drives often used in sedans or hatchbacks for cost-effectiveness, which could result in a more affordable version of the Cybertruck during challenging economic times and inflation. Additionally, Tesla vehicle designer Franz von Halsen drove the Cybertruck to visit colleagues and former students at Art Center Invitational, providing inspiration to the students. Moreover, university students embarked on a mission to measure the Cybertruck's massive and robust wiper arm, which turned out to be unprecedentedly long at 50 inches, surpassing the longest wiper arms produced by Napa, typically at 40 inches. Upon close observation, the enormous wiper arm of the Tesla Cybertruck consists of two smaller wiper blades stacked beneath each other. This design provides a wider reach to cover nearly the entire windshield. Certainly, this is a significant win for the Cybertruck, emphasizing the excellence of attention to detail. A new video on X has given us a direct look at the truck bed, including the operation of the powered tonu cover, which produces a sound similar to a high-speed train when closing. The bed looks visually appealing and safe with its protective shell. We believe most people will drive with the tonu cover closed. In a departure from traditional truck configurations, the Cybertruck's tonu cover introduces an intriguing challenge. It obstructs the rearview mirror. To address this, a digital mirror solution has been ingeniously integrated, a feature that came to light during nocturnal test drives, adding to the Cybertruck's adaptability to various driving conditions. The Cybertruck's undeniable allure and novelty aren't confined to its design and technology alone. Observing the social dynamics around this cutting-edge vehicle, one can't help but notice the curiosity and enthusiasm of onlookers. Passers-by and curious bystanders frequently request the Cybertruck owner to unveil the tonu cover and lower the tailgate, showcasing the Cybertruck's interactive appeal. Remarkably, the video illustrates that every facet of this process operates with seamless precision further enhancing the overall user experience. It's a testament to the integration of advanced technology, remote control functionality, and the practicality that the Cybertruck embodies, solidifying its status as a pioneering innovation in the realm of electric trucks. Are you ready to own a Cybertruck after its release date? Next, the Model Y recently seems to be dominating the EV market wherever Tesla appears. Only in September, the Model Y is considered the best-selling new car in New Zealand with 697 registered purchases, 
followed by the Toyota RAV4 with 683 registrations and the Ford Ranger with 605. The Tesla Model Y started deliveries in New Zealand in August 2022 and has since established itself in the country's automotive market. In the same month, Tesla led in electric vehicle sales in New Zealand, despite competition from both the Model 3 and Model Y. Available in various markets, the Model Y and Model 3 serve as the driving forces behind Tesla's appeal in the mass market, offering a compelling combination of range, performance, and cutting-edge technology, all while being sold at or below the average transaction price of new vehicles in the United States. Tesla's success has extended beyond the United States to four major European markets, including Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, and has made significant strides in the Chinese market. Recently, we heard that it broke the records for the highest annual sales in Denmark with 12,944 units, surpassing the previous record of 12,940 units set by the Volkswagen UP in 2013. With two months left in the year, the Model Y has an opportunity to further elevate this record. Additionally, Tesla has recently implemented a slight price increase for the Model Y Long Range AWD in the US, indicating that demand may have exceeded expectations following previous price reductions. It now retails for an additional $500, bringing the Model Y Long Range's price to $48,990 only slightly higher, around 1%, compared to the previous price. The $2,000 price reduction in early October has demonstrated that these minor price increases are insignificant. The price reduction from earlier in the year has yielded results, with Tesla selling 284,498 Model Y units in the first three quarters in the U.S. market. Thus, there's no secret that Tesla's very confident in the global success of the Model Y. According to our cumulative sales statistics, the Model Y and Model 3 have indeed surpassed 2 million units. In fact, the Model Y is just behind the Model 3 with 2.16 million units sold since its 2020 release, while the Model 3 has sold 2.20 million units. Therefore, the Model Y is expected to overtake the Model 3 in the final quarter of 2023 to become the best-selling electric vehicle of all time. In fact, it'll only take an additional three and a half years to add two million more orders. As the best-selling electric vehicle brand for consumers, a recent study shows that Tesla is also the most popular electric vehicle brand for fleet purchases in the United States. Tesla vehicles make up nearly one-third of fleet electric vehicle purchases, with the Model 3 and Model Y being among the most common vehicles purchased for rental, corporate, and government fleets. Perhaps the most eye-catching fleet purchase deal began in 2021, when Tesla and Hertz jointly entered into a deal to purchase 100,000 electric vehicles. Finally, we'll close out today's episode with the latest news on the supercharger network. Recently, it seems that Tesla's increasing the number of supercharging stations for electric vehicles across the United States. Ford and Tesla have modified their agreement for the North American charging standard, Interestingly, Ford announced that they'll add more than 15,000 Tesla supercharger stalls to their network, exceeding the previous estimate of 12,000 stalls set in May 2023. This allows Ford vehicle owners to access Tesla supercharger stations in both Canada and the United States. For Tesla owners, this over 15,000 number doesn't mean that foreign owners will have access to the entire supercharger network in North America. Currently, there are 24,346 supercharger stalls opened in Canada and the United States. Along with the supercharger update, Ford also announced three new agreements with other charging partners in Canada and the U.S. Francis Energy, Blink, and Red E are now part of the Green Oval Charging Network, adding over 10,000 new chargers, including more than 550 new fast DC chargers to the network. This plan will increase the total number of charging stations to over 106,000 in the United States. Tesla is also planning to close the year with supercharger expansion, starting construction on three new superchargers in Alberta, Manitoba, and Quebec, expanding their network in Canada, which has recently moved up nine positions in the ranking. Many people have been complaining about the dire state of electric vehicle charging infrastructure with most various charging stations showing signs of aging and malfunctioning. Among all the charging options available, only Tesla's supercharger network remains fast and reliable, gradually expanding its coverage across the U.S. 
Agreements between other automakers committing to the NACS charging standard are expected to make the market more uniform with the extensive charging network that Tesla offers to its users. British Petroleum, or BP, an oil and energy company, has decided to purchase the hardware of Tesla superchargers, perhaps in the hope that people will forget their responsibility for one of the worst oil pollution disasters in history when their Deepwater Horizon oil rig catastrophically collapsed causing a massive oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. It seems they've realized the need for a long-term change in the future to compensate for their past actions. The $100 million deal has been confirmed following a period of safety and hardware evaluation for the superchargers. This will allow BP to establish an additional 2,000 supercharger stalls in the United States at a cost of $50,000 per stall. BP's EV charging division is called BP Pulse. In a report, the company stated that this investment will facilitate the expansion of the public BP Pulse charging network across the United States and support customers in using electric vehicles by deploying chargers at their own facilities. Incorporating Tesla superchargers into BP Pulse marks the first time that Tesla chargers will be used for an independent EV charging network. Deployment is set to begin in 2024, with initial installation locations identified in Houston, Phoenix, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Washington, D.C., as well as at third-party locations such as Hertz Rental Centers. Why did BP choose to buy Tesla's charging hardware? Tesla has demonstrated exceptional prowess in the early phases of testing its charging stations, with the V3 supercharger system standing out as a highly reliable option. Furthermore, the recently deployed V4 charging stations are poised to elevate performance even further. Leveraging their accumulated experience, coupled with a relentless pursuit of enhancements driven by real-world usage, Tesla's charging infrastructure is undoubtedly a top-tier choice. For BP Pulse, the opportunity to harness Tesla's cutting-edge hardware for their own network is too compelling to ignore. The removal of barriers between Tesla and non-Tesla electric vehicles signals a turning point. Tesla's hardware, renowned for its quality and innovation, can now be a valuable asset for any charging service provider. Integrating Tesla's industry-leading hardware into the BP Pulse network signifies a significant stride in the ambitions of one of the foremost automakers. It bolsters the endeavor to establish a robust, high-speed, open-access charging infrastructure in the United States, all while delivering an exceptional experience to customers. Notably, Tesla charging stations within the BP Pulse network will accommodate electric vehicles equipped with Combined Charging System or NACS, North American Charging Standard, ensuring inclusivity and compatibility. Moreover, they'll offer support for the plug and charge protocol, simplifying the user access process. BP's investment commitment to the United States electric vehicle charging infrastructure is substantial, with plans to inject $1 billion into the sector by 2030. The initial infusion of $500 million over the next two to three years underscores their commitment to bioenergy, convenience, electric vehicle charging, hydrogen renewables, and energy as part of a holistic strategy. In a broader context, the electric vehicle industry is on the cusp of a remarkable transformation, with the imminent launch of numerous electric car factories and a burgeoning wave of electric vehicle battery manufacturing plants. This evolution extends to the manufacturing of electric vehicle charging equipment, marking a significant milestone in the sustainable mobility ecosystem's growth and development. BP Pulse is actively and swiftly expanding its global high-speed charging infrastructure, taking significant strides to instill trust and confidence among consumers who have embraced electric vehicles. The pace of their expansion efforts is remarkable having witnessed a remarkable surge in charging points by a staggering 150% since 2019. This upward trajectory is set to continue its ascent across numerous countries, demonstrating the company's unwavering commitment to fostering sustainable mobility. A particular emphasis is being placed on the swift and ultra-fast charging options within their network, effectively addressing the pressing demand for rapid direct current DC charging solutions. This shift towards fast-charging technologies reflects a strategic move to eliminate the time-consuming nature of Level 2 charging practices that have been prevalent within the company. The United Kingdom stands as a testament to their accomplishments, with BP Pulse establishing itself as one of the largest electric charging point operators in the nation. Meanwhile, across the border in Germany, 
Auropulse stands at the forefront, reigning as the premier electric charging point operator, setting new standards for speed and efficiency in the industry. In the vast expanses of the United States, BP is poised to revolutionize the landscape by offering comprehensive energy management and electric vehicle charging solutions tailored for fleet operations. Their innovative approach promises to optimize energy costs while maximizing vehicle utilization, a move that will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the adoption of EVs across the nation. The implications of this global expansion extend far beyond the mere proliferation of charging points. This concerted effort to establish a robust charging network creates a warm and inviting environment for EV enthusiasts, especially those with affordable electric car models that boast relatively modest travel ranges. This shift is transformative, as long-distance travel no longer hinges on the limitations of battery range. Instead, consumers will prioritize attributes such as unique design, affordability, and exceptional service from providers paving the way for a new era in electric mobility where convenience and experience take precedence over range anxiety. What do you think about the future of the EV industry? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.